Ambroxol hydrochloride. What is it? Who should use it? And how do you take it safely? I'll break it down simply, so you know exactly what to discuss with your healthcare provider. First, what Ambroxol does. It's a mucolytic and expectorant. Translation, it thins thick, sticky mucus and helps you cough it up more easily. When is it used? Ambroxol is indicated for conditions with viscid, hard to clear mucus, including productive cough from colds or infections, acute bronchitis, chronic bronchitis, upper and lower airway inflammation with thick secretions, laryngitis, pharyngitis, sinusitis, rhinitis, asthmatic bronchitis and bronchial asthma with thick expectoration, bronchiectasis, supportive care in chronic pneumonia where mucus clearance matters. What benefits can you expect? Thinner mucus, easier expectoration, less chest congestion and fewer stuck hacking coughs, potentially improved breathing comfort as the airways clear. How to take it? Dosage varies by form and age. Always follow the label where you live or your clinician's advice. Typical adult guidance looks like this. Tablets, 30 meat arm, usually two to three times daily after food. Extended release capsules, often 75 milligrams once daily. Syrup or solution, adult dosing aligns with 60, 90 milligrams per day divided. Check your concentration. For children, dosing is based on age or weight and the syrup strength. Use a proper measuring device and stick to pediatric guidance on the label or from your pediatrician. Do not self-dose infants. How long? Many people use Ambroxol for a few days to a week during acute congestion. If symptoms persist beyond five to seven days, worsen, or are accompanied by high fever, chest pain, wheeze, blood and sputum, how to get the most from it. Take with water and stay well hydrated. Fluids help the mucolytic effect. Don't combine with cough suppressants at the same time unless your clinician says so. If you have asthma, keep your reliever and controller meds going. Ambroxol isn't a replacement. Side effects, usually mild and temporary, GI upset, nausea, stomach discomfort, diarrhea, heartburn, mouth or throat numbness or taste changes with some lozenges or syrups, headache, dizziness, dry mouth, less common. Skin reactions like rash or itching, rare, stop and seek care if severe. Very rare serious reactions have been reported with mucolytics. Widespread rash, blistering, swelling, trouble breathing, signs of allergy. Who should be careful? Pregnancy and breastfeeding. Use only if your clinician agrees. Severe liver or kidney problems may need adjustment or alternatives. History of gastric ulcers. Mucolytics can irritate, monitor for discomfort. Children under the age indicated on your local product label. Interactions to know. Other cough or cold combos may already contain mucolytics. Avoid double dosing. Avoid routine use with cough suppressants unless specifically advised. Remember to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update from Health Review Desk.